Okay. Also, can we just take a second to acknowledge that the game is implying Nancy is walking around in just like a turtleneck and socks? Like, why isn't she wearing shoes inside? Or pants? Like, what? What is it? That's just really enough. Okay, I need to move it lower so I can see things. Got it, got it, got it. It's real helpful. Okay, much better, much better. Nancy, let's... Nancy, hush. Oh my word. That's n Okay, sure. <laughs> Good enough. It's not going to show us the white wolf part when you hit new, I guess, but whatever. Um, oh, <laughs> hello, Mama Beat. How is cooking going? Oh, your keyboard's obnoxiously loud. Well, I don't know the solution for that. Um, I had to, I had to adjust my my sensitivity settings because I think it got bumped when we moved things so it was cutting out a lot when I first did it so now it might be too sensitive but I didn't really have time to play with it too much so I was just trying to get to where you could hear me <laughs> um, well I'm glad to hear that your son is feeling better I did not know he was sick I don't think but I'm glad to hear that he's doing better um, I sound good. Well, I'm glad. You're making casserole and rice crispy treats? Ooh, that sounds amazing. You've not- wait, Sleuthy, you don't remember this game? I- I will be so excited to see you play this game, though. You look a little upset. Because I- I think this game is so unhinged. And it's great. So I would love to see you play it with having, like, no recollection of what happens. Um, that's right. I remember that from the cosplay stuff that you didn't remember the game. Um, okay. So here is our assignment. Should we choose to accept it? Which I think we are. Um, so we are going to head to Icicle Geek Lodge, small guest lodge deep in the Canadian Rockies. And we're going to figure out why so many accidents have been happening. And... We are being brought in by Chantal Moik, who called out of the blue, saying that Ed, Bet and Bet and Ed Raleigh from Shadow Ranch had recommended us. I had not remembered that, so that's cool. Um, sounded so desperate, I couldn't refuse. On her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers, so her handyman Ollie Randall will pick me up at the airport. Hmm, that sounds familiar, Abby. <laughs> Having a handyman and a cowboy hat pick us up at the airport. <laughs> anyway, um, she told me it's been really cold and snowy there and that I should pack accordingly. And then she says something about a wolf. Connection was getting really bad and I could barely hear her. And I'm pretty what sure you used the, the word howling. Of Harry was Potter a howling. What is going on around here? Um, what is this? Accidents are one thing. Yeah. Wild animals. I hope I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> so. Huffle puff. <laughs> As I'm reading this, my brain is suddenly saying, this is just Shadow Ranch in, in the winter, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, hmm. We're investigating mysterious acts of sabotage that are being blamed on a mysterious light-colored, white, glowing animal. And we get picked up from the airport by a handyman wearing a cowboy hat. This this is just Shadow Ranch all over again. <laughs> Why have I never picked up on that before? Not the Shadow of Secret Ranch. Oh my gosh. You guys are ridiculous. You would 100% get in a car with a handyman with a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh. Okay. This game has one of your favorite twists in the series. I do think it is a good, a good twist. Um... Uh, 
it's it's got some really good stuff going on. In fairness, there are cowboys in Edmonton. Well, we're in Alberta, but uh, or we're not we're not in Edmonton because she's going to Edmonton. Um. All right, Sleuthy, that sounds good. See you later, and thanks for coming by. Um. There's there's so much chat things happening. I was trying to get caught up without just sitting there reading it. Um. All right. Yes, very exciting to be streaming again. And we're going to go ahead and get the ball rolling here. Also, I went with the, the blue borders for maximum nostalgia. Can you guys hear it? There's no way. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit. Yeah, uber quiet. Okay. Hold on. She's still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her Okay. Hold on. I was gonna say, hopefully that did not just break everything. Um Okay. So the only way to get out and fix it, because I think it's really bad, so we, we do need to fix it, is to is to relaunch the game. So so I am doing that. Ah, well now you get to see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hello, Amy. Oh my gosh, yeah, the ice flow challenge. It is. I've had times that were just absolutely awful. Here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, how is that volume look at sound? Book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. Okay, I'm only getting one response, but I'm going to assume this is loud enough. Just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay, hopefully this is loud enough. Because we're going to go for it. Okay. Hello, Maggie. How's your day been going? When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. So I'm sorry the captions are just absurdly well, small in this game. There's nothing the I can do about it. All those accidents. Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring oh, out no, that's, who it is than somebody more... That's so hard know, to read on the knows. blue. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. Uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left Ron and the Lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. Ooh. You hear that? Well, now, what was that? Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted <laughs> for. That's where Elsa and Becky have been living. Forgotten the UI was rough. Hmm. Until you replayed it recently. Yeah, it's... He said it's not great for those of us who can't see anything. He, he did say the blast was pretty powerful. What a welcome One indeed. Found the knob to the back door, clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to get your favorite call? UI? Hmm. My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. Think I'm gonna admit to him that I can't handle running just one guess again. That is a good question. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You wanna be my maid? 
That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's an the text is so idea. tiny. It's awful. Right. You're my new maid. There's just not really anything You're I can do about cook. it. It's just how it is. Your cook? That way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guest, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Uh -huh. until this accident thing is cleared up. So I want both of you to make sure that the floor guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic caliber cross country skier from Fredonia. Oh Maggie, you have heat and water hot water again? That is so exciting. I'm so glad it's gotten fixed. Cats had to spend all day locked in the bedroom. Oh no. Poor babies. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Why are his hands just absolutely massive here? I mean, they're always big, but they look so big in this scene. Tino Balducci? I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. You know I have Nancy Drew on the brain when I read your message talking about, <laughs> I think it's your husband, right? And I, my first thought was Bob the horse. <laughs> this oh my gosh. Said he'd leave for me. Why is the, why is that so tiny and illegible? And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Skating pond maintenance. Report all it's avalanches. It's fine. Everything's fine. The avalanche patrol. Oh, we can't go backwards. We can only go forwards. Okay, so we missed breakfast, but next will be lunchtime. So let's let's go to. Ooh, we got the teddy bear. All good. Okay. Tino Balducci. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright. If you could click, please, that would be great. So I'm trying to think about UIs. Because I feel like I Chantal, like this, this layout a lot. Notice of resignation. Because of how please like smoothly rectangular it is. But if you expect any delay with a check. Elsa. I um what's the I don't like the tiny text on this, but like, so some of the newest games with the the tan and like red overlay, I don't like the fact that it has like, it's lumpy, <laughs> like it's not smooth. Because if you are trying to do screenshots from stuff in the game and crop that out, it makes things really wonky for trying to do that. Um, so that's annoying, but. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. I do like this era. Um, from like this game, Phantom of Venice, where we have this style, but yeah, tiny text is not, not great. Um, makes us more thankful for the advances her interactives made, made with the games, right? Absolutely, because there's definitely, like, especially the oldest games, like, not being able to get out of conversations. So not just cutscenes, but conversations and pause the game and whatnot is very annoying. Okay. Contents deleted. Wonder why. I don't know, Nancy. So glad that's all on here, so I didn't just read it. You like the look of the last UI under the old system, but I hadn't thought about the lumpiness. Yeah, it's I guess I've just done so much with making screenshots for different different things that it bugs me. Um let's see. One thing with this game is that I feel like there's a lot more gaps of silence 
than in some of the other games. Uh, Nancy Drew? Also, you can't pause this game, and it's stressful. And how does she do that? Like, if you minimize it, you pause it. But otherwise, you can't pause it. What are ice balls? If you get hit with one, it can knock you out. So don't throw it or I'll tell my dad. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. I am the Snow Princess. This part is so fun on the Wii game. Like the Wii version of this game, I just have to say. Because you get to like, really like chuck them. <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack is not the best. I, I like a lot of what we do have. The face from a clock, it's all but melted. But the, the number of gaps is not, bomb that blew it's up not it. House, maybe? So... I better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. We're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and drop a save. Um... Because I don't want to have to go through all the opening cutscene stuff again. Let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this part. Oh. Forgot we have an ad break on Twitch. So. What was the... So I was listening back through the through the game files and everything. There's a couple of songs that I don't remember where they play, but um, I feel like I remember them being in the game, but they weren't listed as like part of the official soundtrack or whatever. And I um, I feel like I was like losing my mind a little bit because I'm like I feel like I've heard these and I don't remember where. Um, okay, so you're saying hearing the wind hearing the wind blow just now made me think, wow, that was so cool. It was cool to enjoy nature sounds songs music. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's a fair point that there's a lot of stuff with nature sounds. and I feel like, with both that and with the music, there's a lot more that could have been done. Um, I I feel like what we have is pretty good. But there's also like there was at least one track that I found in the game files that was very pretty. I like I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it was not featured in the game. Um, I don't really know why, because I feel like it's really good. Um, I'm actually gonna play it really quick while. It's still a Twitch ad break. Let me minimize that. So the song is called Olympic. It was the first song that played at the beginning of the stream, if you were there then. Like, isn't this song so fun? This is a very, like, Yanni's theme sort of song, I feel like. Yeah, it's called Olympic, and there's actually even two versions of it on there. Carter wouldn't like it, though, because it has the choir stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is a really good point, L. Not the MIDI choir. Okay, 
Okay, so that's that. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, but that was a really good point about, like, I could see it sounding like, oop, I did not mean to maximize that, sounding like C. So I'm glad that they added that little um, resurgence of the theme in there, because otherwise that would be a little bit harder to distinguish Weird. it. Weird. Looks like some kind of monument. That one screamed piano cover. Um, I could see that making a good cover for sure. It sounded very Viking. Yeah, I could I could see that. It it makes me think of, and I feel like this is probably what they were going for. Of um, what's this doing here? Strange. Kind of like Rus in, Russian, Eastern out. European, um, must like Slavic. That's kind of what I was getting from it, which is my assumption of what they were going for because. That's supposed to be like where Yanni is from, and it's called Olympic, so that's kind of what the vibe I thought was happening, but I could definitely see there being different. Um, no, we don't get to. Oh, that does, we can't trigger that yet. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Oh, I see the, the unused track from Dead. I need to listen to that again, because I don't remember which track that is. Elizabeth, enjoy your lurk and have fun with the kiddos. Um... Ah, much better. I was really cold. Okay. Also, can we just take a second to acknowledge that the game is implying Nancy is walking around in just like a turtleneck and socks? Like, why isn't she wearing shoes inside? Or pants. Like, <laughs> what is well, happening? Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. What's your name again? Not a boot. Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here's a grad student. Art major, of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? Maggie, enjoy your lurk while you do laundry. Have you two been at the lodge for a while? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that there's Johanna, I don't know if I said hello to you, so hello if I did not I've already say that. Tail ever since. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Heck no. I came for the ice fishing. The Course, accent. Knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact, gets creepier each time. Yeah, Tori, I know what you're talking about. I'm just not remembering off the top of my head, so I'll have to look that up and listen to it. Place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. What are you, Little Red Riding Hood? Look at the that duck in the background. I love it. People should just leave it alone. I think Ricky you know, needs one of those. Also, the pine cone. For breakfast, then it's a pine for cone, lunch. Clarence. Not gonna happen, dude. Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually it will, will dude. dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than Oh, you've you. been playing through the, the game lately? It's a favorite side, of yours, friend, Johanna? But I've been working construction I... since before you were born. Which means I've had I'm a journey of experience through, be. like, with this Get game. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done. So, this game used to be, like when I first played it, it was one of my favorites. Like, I absolutely love this game. Just, the vibes were immaculate. Absolutely loved it. But then, I had a period where I was like, well, when I go to replay it, I get to the point where I have to play Fox and Geese, and then I stop, and I don't finish it. So... For a while, I didn't. Get this pond shoveled off. I didn't forget the culprit or anything, but I definitely didn't remember like the plot line of all of that because I did never play that far. Um, so I remember getting to the ending, and I think I had a moment where I was like, "I really did not remember any of this. Like, this is really happening right now." Um, Also, this puzzle was slightly challenging as a child. I hate the sound effect. But it is what it is. 
So don't you love hearing this awful swoosh sound 4,000 times with no music? Isn't it great? But yeah, so I had that period where I was just like, uh, I don't know. I don't ever finish it. I hate fox and geese, all this kind of stuff. And then I got older and I played it more. And I also went through oops, went through and like learned how to actually play Fox and Geese and figured out I'd been doing it wrong my whole life and that was part of why I hated it so much. And now I'm like, oh, this is much better than what I thought it was. And now I've played through it a bunch more and I actually really like it, even though it has problems for sure. Talk about the fact that Lou gets the chill college student vibe down so well. I mostly can't stand him. When he starts talking, I just get upset. Drive me nuts when I replayed. I I can see that being a thing. He is kind of irritating. Okay, let's put our little cones. The cones of safety. Oop. Oh, put the cone down, please. That ought to Nailed do it. it. Wait a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Oh Maybe yeah, this is what I was good. supposed to do. I got it. Oh, you sent me the cheat from Facebook. Yeah, I've watched. Um, I think it's Arklefump's video on. It's not really a cheat. It's just how more how you're supposed to do it, honestly. Um, and it's actually pretty easy. Now we go this way. I got it. I got it. Um, do you have memories of first time playing this game, spending more than three hours on Fox and Geese and wanting to cry? Yeah, I feel that. I, I hated it when I was younger. So for one thing, I thought I had to do all four like an instead of three. I also thought not just that you had to trap it and keep it from moving What's in that, that corner noise? somewhere. But that you had to, you had to go through and completely no. surround it, which made it so much harder. So I just like did not correctly understand the rules. Oh, I'm buried in snow. I've got to dig myself out before I run out of air. I mean that's important, but also you've been under this for like maybe ten minutes, Nancy. I think you're fine. Someone's up there. For years I could not beat this game because of the end chase. It's it's too much. It's just too much, to be honest. Enjoy your lurk, Johanna, while you make supper. What are you gonna have for dinner tonight? Easy. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. Puppy! Wait, come here. I want pets. Come back. Can I? Gone. But okay. I was like, can I get out? Breathe again. Now, if I can just pull myself out. Yeah. Last time I played this, I was determined to do it. I kid you not, I timed it. It was like 10 minutes long. Ridiculously long. I feel like it's not supposed to be that long, but it's it's long. It's not that long, though. I don't think. We're gonna find out when I do it. <laughs> Ooh, the fossil. I don't know if anyone here has watched Phineas and Ferb to know this quote, but there's this episode of Phineas and Ferb where I guess they'd gone to the museum and the dad has one of those like little audio headset um, things that you like take with you and listen while you walk through the museum and it tells you about stuff. And he keeps playing it and then rewinding it and playing it again. Well, it's talking about fossils, and he's just like, fossils, dun dun dun. The rewinding sounds, fossils, dun dun dun. And he just does that over and over again, and the mom is just like, what are you doing right now? Ah, oh, much better. I was really cold. Oh, the issue is the timer resets if the baddie gets off screen. I thought that was how it worked, but I wasn't totally sure if that was, like, actually confirmed. So yeah, it can be horrible, or it, oops, 
wrong number. Or it can be not too terribly bad. Did I type that right? Okay. I just keep them in sight the whole time this replay and it was maybe three minutes. Yeah, I was thinking it was like three to five watch, minutes. I wanted to report an avalanche at Chicken Ridge. Anyone injured or trapped? Uh, not anymore. It's challenging though. Well, Thanks for the heads up. Hey, wait a minute. You know Ollie Randall? The handyman here at the lodge? He's also on the patrol. Do me a favor and tell him that the explosives training in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Explosives training? Sometimes the patrol has to use explosives to bring down unstable snow. Yearly training sessions are mandatory. Ollie will know what I'm talking about. I'll tell him. Appreciate it. One more thing. Have any of you guys been setting off explosives anywhere near the Icicle Creek Lodge recently? I feel like this, nope, sure the snowmobiling well, stuff could have been Bye. so fun, but they made it, they managed to make snowmobiling in the Canadian Rockies, like, horrendously tedious. So that's a thing. Need something? I'm just trying to get the lay of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this wow. case. Wow, well, that's is incredible. I'm building something now I know why there's people who problems. say they've never they finished that. the game because we'll finish that thing out there they couldn't get past that chase you scene. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything that sounds was miserable. It showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Why do you say that? Yesterday, what do you mean? I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it. You were Sitting sweating. The creek, not 20 years I would have been sweating too. My word. It. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And, and I, I missed. missed. So I fired, fired again, again. And, and I, I missed. missed. And then, then I, I missed again, again and, and again. again. And all the while I just sat there staring until finally it just stood up. Walked toward the brush just as calm as could be. And disappeared. You quoting that is the funniest thing. Like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to job about. You met my little girl yet? Freddy? Oh, I mean, your yeah. little girl She's that's supposedly almost the same age as me. <laughs> she sure does. Of course, that little snow fort she built is supposed to be what, like life. eleven? Just sits out there waiting. Maybe. For to go Probably not even that. Snowball fight with him. Well, she maybe around that. How she manages to stay warm all day, but she and Nancy's like literally technically an adult. I don't think them. they're close to the same age, yeah, Ollie. She's something. Can you tell me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can. But I kind of need to know. Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. I'm gonna try to be like thorough about this the playthrough. Avalanche Patrol asked me to tell you that the explosives training session. I can beat this game in like an hour. Month. We're not gonna well, do I that really, tonight. I but didn't really uh want to go anywhere until I finished off that wolf. Now I won't have to. Do we think Freddy is her actual name or is it a nickname? That is a good question that I have not really thought about before. I think you were right about the wolf not being normal. Of course I'm right. Dang, I just remembered. Patrol wants me to keep Dang. an eye on Skookum Ridge for the next couple of weeks. Here, there's the key to the snowmobile. Take it out to Skookum Ridge and see if there's been an avalanche. You want me to check it out? Seat seated so you don't have to worry about the cold. Make sure you call the patrol and give them a report when you're done. You can handle that. Can't think of you? what? You bet. Good. Where Freddy would come from if that was Two a nickname. Options. That Bill Kessler guy's getting bored being the only one around here doing any ice fishing. He wants competition. So if he says anything to you, just remember that Chantal wants you to keep the guests we got happy. Other thing is, a cold snap's on its way. You think it's cold now? Just wait. Gotta be real careful anytime you're outside. So, we done here? Sure. I'd better get back upstairs. See you later. There he, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. We're not gonna talk to him right now. Cause I don't wanna. I wanna I wanna do the oop, oop, let me oop, let me let me go this way. We're gonna go ahead and do this thing of offer. <laughs> Trying to figure out how the assignment he gave is appropriate for a maid. I mean 
This is a good question. <laughs> well, okay, so Nancy is pretending to be a maid and a cook, so she's kind of like a multi-purpose employee. <laughs> um, but also Ollie knows that she's undercover, so there is that. Oof. Uh, uh, how did I hit that? Excuse you. I was not close to that. I hate this so much. Like, this- why- why? Who thought this was fun? This app is not fun. It's stressful. And this game is obviously gonna be on the list for no second chance playthroughs, but not anytime soon. It's all my word. The sign's not buried, Your screen so keeps buffering. Been um, I don't think I'm seeing that on my end. So if anyone else lets me know if they're having buffering issues. So nerve-wracking. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't- oh, I don't like it. I don't like- it. oh, how am I supposed to get out of that? Oh, go this way. And go this- oh, ah, ah! Ah! Nah! Ah! How? Why? Why? How? Why? Why is that a thing? Please, no. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. My gosh. Your stress just thinking of the ice flow puzzle. It is, ugh, it's insufferable a little bit. Oop. Sing a song so you won't be so stressed. Oh, I love it. I feel warmer already. Nancy, let's, let's go, let's go call them. I get it. Oh, come on. I accidentally hit two buttons at the end. There we go. <laughs> Feel a real coming from that idea. I mean, I can see it. I can see it. What's your location? Actually, I'm calling on behalf of Ollie Randall. Hello, I'm Abby. To Glad to see you. How's your day been going? Activity out at Skookum Ridge. Nancy's little no, ice cream song needs to be you. written. Oh report. my gosh. No problem. All right. Uh, wait. Let's let's do another phone call while we're here. I love being able to type in the the phone numbers because I have a numpad on my keyboard, Hello? which Hi, Chantal, I'm obsessed with Nancy numpads, Drew. so you it makes it so fun. Accident? Not quite yet. About Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on Oof, this case. Oof, that sounds like a lot, Abby. Uh -huh. But glad it's been going well. Gone, and I find him to be very knowledgeable and... You love the clacking sound. It's my ASMR. Oh, hopping to and fro from... To and fro from drift to drift. <laughs> um... Do you know what he did when we were on that train trip Lori Gerard arranged? He did Charming, oh please, video, right. But he did say that that's all water under the bridge. In fact, I insist that if and when you're stumped about something, you ask Tino to help you out. That's what I'm paying him for, agreed? Agreed. I'm just surprised no one has done the Tino redemption so far. I'd like to know more about the accidents. I asked Dolly, but he said Suki, he, said he wasn't that allowed to talk about them. Suki also helps things not be so stressful. My husband was just playing that video the other day, like the original video on his phone. And he was like, it feels weird to watch this without the music. Ill at roughly the same time. 
But were they all in the same room? Of course not. Justice for Ned. Wait, what's the justice for Ned? I mean, he always needs it, but... Police detective in the country. Hello, Jetpack. How's your day going? What are you making for dinner? Abby, have you not seen that redemption before? It's so funny. So, who's suing you? No one yet. But my lawyers are afraid it's just a matter of time and are trying to figure out what preventative measures to take. How come the entries for last year were deleted from the guest register? They've been deleted? You're That's making a burger? Says. Ooh, that sounds Content's so deleted. good. Well, I, I could go for a burger them. right now. That'd be great. Freddy. Um. Ollie's daughter? Has she done other things like that? No, but you know how Oh, that's amazing, people. Abby. I'm so glad you got to experience it. Programming them to spread viruses and steal passwords and blow up the world. I think that's only in movies. Besides, pretty much all this person had to do was press the delete. Ah, uh, Tori, I get what oh, you're saying. That we have to call him for hints. Detective in the country. What'd she expect me to say? That felt great. Do it again? The guests that are in the lodge now, did any of them stay here last year? I'll be suing you! Lou Talbot stayed here last summer, but only very briefly. Broken down, and he was waiting for a tow truck. Oh, and Yanni, he was here last winter. I thought she he said his car broke him down at first, and I was very confused. Didn't stay long either. You're Only the, the most famous police detective in the country. Great publicity, okay? Sure. Okay, that's cool, but I need to go cook. I'll be suing you. Okay. Time to cook. I love the cooking in this game, like so much, to be honest. So I have save files for the places where, like right before cooking, so that I can just go in and do the cooking for the three different meals. And it's so much fun. Okay, so I only need one more quesadilla. Also, knowing that you can click the right click button, or like you can do click the right mouse button Order to up. uh, Order up. let go of an ingredient or whatever, Order up. was a game changer. See, now this is making me want a burger. Uh. Paprika. That's probably an appropriate amount of paprika. Order up. Okay. Two, two, two. Mm. Yes, we do have it where I am. I I actually just had it like yesterday. because uh, it's eggnog shake season and Order up. those are amazing. Um one, two, okay. One, two, one, two, two, one. Abby, if you ever come visit, you have to go there. It's amazing. Um. Oh, what's a game changer? Being able to 
to click the right mouse button to let go of the ingredient you're holding. I would like to use the snowshoes, please. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Trapper Dan, seen here with his pet, his pet pig, pig Mary. Mary. Oh look, I'm Lizzie a sleuth, Applegate. Not a chef. <laughs> If only Nancy had said that this time. Okay. Look at all the pictures. And look at all this Lowell stuff. Which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rex. I love their hush puppies cheese bites, the onion rings. There. I love the cheese bites. So there's some other places that probably have potentially better ones. Those are pretty good though. I like their new fries. At least near me, they changed to different fries, and I like them a lot better. Because they have, like, the crinkle fries now, which I'm usually not a big fan of, but the ones that they've got right now are actually really good. So I like to get the cheese fries. Um, I also like the quesadillas, and I love the burgers. The grilled chicken sandwiches are really good, too, honestly. We need to go clean the rooms. Go investigating. This is quite the picture. Am I just weird or does anyone else like uh, going through and cleaning up the rooms? Because I feel like it's very satisfying to make the beds and everything. Oop. Oop. Why does, like, this looks like the guy, what's his name? Pablo? Is that his name? The guy from the Princess Diaries? That looks like him. The guy who does her hair and everything. So I like their barbecue sandwiches. I don't know if I've ever had their barbecue sandwiches. I should try that. Note to self, try that next time. Look at this face. Why does it have no eyes? This isn't an emergency. I better not open it. What if I say it's an emergency? This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Okay, so now we've done all that. Whales rule. What are we talking about? <laughs> well, I was talking about, so we're talking about cookout and enjoying doing the maid duties because they're really satisfying. And uh, the guy in the magazine guy looking like the guy from, yeah, not sing to me, Paolo. That's the wrong movie. That's what I thought of the first two. I was like, oh, Paolo. And I'm like, no, that's not even close to right. I mean, I guess that's close to right in some sense, but. This is so yeah, we're talking about Pablo. The, I think his name's Pablo, right? Who does uh, Mia's Before hair yet, in The Princess Paul Diaries. Told me I can answer any questions you might have about those accidents after all. Guess she changed her mind. Oh, I got the dog, the dog reference. You couldn't get it. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just lucky. What can I say? How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire, best hire too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. The first time I talked to Chantal, she mentioned you used to be a rancher. Do you miss ranching? Yeah, a little. Tough life, though. Owned my own spread about 15 years ago. Well, bank owned most of it. And after two bad winters and one bone dry summer, the bank owned all of it. But I've learned a whole lot since then. Wait, it's also Paolo? Just need to find That's out. why we're <laughs> getting confused then. That's all. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. No wonder we're all confused. Have you ever seen Trapper Dan's Needle? 
course. What can you tell me about it? All I can tell you is it was built by the same stir-crazy old guy who built this place. Maybe something in that display up in the lobby will tell you what you want to know. I'd better get back upstairs. If you need anything, just holler. Okay, well, let's talk to him. Nancy, I'm glad to see you. I'm not disturbing your routine. Bye, you Abby. Listen. Glad to see you. Skiing very fast. Some of us are crazy. <laughs> Snow, dirt, rocks, I mean, at least we can say it's just, right it's not because of, of this. There is a mad bomber on the loose. Not the mad bomber. You think it was a bomb? Of course it was a bomb. My competitors bombed the bunkhouse thinking I would be so frightened that I would abandon my training and leave. Only I wasn't He frightened. is so really here for the drama. Me. Thank you for the follow. Um, wait. We're in the middle of nowhere. That's a valid Just question. Where, where are they hanging out? Are hanging out? They can operate anywhere in the world under all conditions. It would not surprise me if someone right here in the lodge is right now under their employ. But to them, I say, pa, they do not scare me. I am the best cross country skier in the world. I will neutralize their petty threats with my excellent strength. Skill and speed. He is so I intense. Am sorry. Enough about my problems. Did you want something? Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. Okay. Uh, Jetpack says, Herd Cookout, you usually get spicy chicken sandwich, plain with a cheese quesadilla, and those cheese curd things plus a sweet tea. That is a very solid order. How spicy is their, their chicken sandwich? That's what I'm curious about. Because I know there's like a lot of fluctuation really? in that. They're creatures of a lot of places. evil. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. I don't really do a ton of that like super spicy stuff. So it probably wouldn't be something I would have. But uh, I am curious. Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. It's not would that, that spicy. Okay? okay. I'm sorry, but no. I oh, like the just well, the non-spicy so version of the sandwich. I really like the the chicken sandwich cheddar style. So it's like grilled onions and cheese sauce and stuff. It's really good. I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival okay, so it's less spicy Olympics. than Chick-fil-A and Wendy's. Interesting. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I All have right, to train, Mama Beat. why not See train in a place where I must bit. eventually put that training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I am simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides, I told you about the bomb. My competitors will stop at nothing. I like, I do like spicy food. I just don't have so many sounds happening right now. Done to bring I just don't have a very high tolerance. And especially right now, like no my choice. stomach doesn't like That's it as much. That's all for now. We'll but, talk again, um, I'm sure. I do like the flavors of it. So like I used to be I used to be really bad about it. like I would eat chips and salsa and I would eat it wouldn't be mild like I would eat maybe like medium and there would be some mediums that were had a decent kick to them and I would sit there and just eat chips and salsa until I could not feel my mouth anymore. Let's go this way. I still stand by, uh, still here. Um, ooh, can we go? So they're like impossible to find these days. But if you can ever find an A&W that's still in existence, I think they have the best cheese curds. I used to have one really close to me when I was a kid. And like all the time I would be begging my mom to take me by there after school so I could get some cheese curds. Because they were so good. Get some cheese curds and a root beer float. Just in heaven. Absolute best. Are any of you guys better. inside to talk really to? Can, 
Can I go, please? Aha! Well, who are you? I'm Elsa's replacement. Oh, I love the new maid. Maid. Thank I goodness. Love it. It's so good. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to endure these conditions and it's, still pay it is full worth, price. It's worth going to one. There's one that's like a pretty significant hike away from me, and I would pick up and go there in a heartbeat just to get the food because it's so good. How long has Elsa been gone? Two days, I think. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm a curdy girly, <laughs> but also I am too. I love cheese curds. My name is Guadalupe Comilla. So I do My have a a Culver's, and it's good. Actually, that sounds really good to me right now. But uh... my name is Nancy Drew. It's anywhere things. that'll give me cheese curds First, is good. The alarm clock is Which I will say. Room. I don't Dairy Queen, need one. unexpected, I don't want to be for that from one. left field. I have no idea where it went to. Second, they actually have a really first. good cheese curds, It'll hardly take and time at all. they actually have really good burgers. The like I had one of their burgers men. a little while back and was Single like, men. this is pretty good. Well, I'm happy to report that I've already cleaned your room. Excellent. There was some, it was some like... It had like bacon and grilled onions and ranch and stuff like that on it. I can't remember the name of it, but it was really good. And I was surprised. What are you looking at through the binoculars? Birds. I'm watching birds. That's they do have cheese curds and they're really good. I want sometimes to say they I also... Go outside and watch and they have... Sometimes I stay inside. I think they it also have a soft on pretzel. What the birds feel like doing and what I feel like doing. Lauren, I feel that so much. I've had issues with my stomach and couldn't really have spicy food, so I, I feel it. And it's sad for me because I do like it a lot. So that's what brought you to Icicle Creek Lodge, the birding? Absolutely. The place is a veritable birding paradise, even in winter. In fact, in the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks, eagles, orioles, cardinals, jays, nothing truly rare, but to a wildlife lover such as myself, seeing them in such a spectacular setting is thrilling nonetheless. Elle, I know that Sonic has them, but I think, I think Abby, I think it was Abby that tried them and said that they were not that good. Um. Have you met the other guests? I've bumped into them at one time or another, yes. I don't spend all my time in front of this window. That Yanni fellow, he's very talented. Her bangs are just a tragedy, intense. if His we're being honest. His around being the best in the world. As the two, <laughs> like, we're always sitting right as you said, it's kind of concerning. Of like, her bangs are struggling. Man, Bill Kessler, <laughs> it looks like she bigger, bleached her hair enough. and she had really but bad breakage. One, and then covered it up with this color. To him is like trying to converse with a giant turnip. No social the turn up. whatsoever. I almost prefer talking to the handyman. Almost. Anyone that intent also, on destroying why is her hair as like... glorious as that wolf is hardly worth talking to. Why is her hair like an ashy brown? And then her eyebrows are just like bright auburn. Like lighter than that, honestly. They're just straight red. It's so weird. Have you ever seen the wolf that's been hanging out around here? No. Uh, not not the I'm wolf gave her a haircut. Yanni oh my occasionally gosh. skis by, and that dullard of a student, I see oh, him no. snowshoeing <laughs> occasionally. Just... But I've yet to see the wolf. Oh my gosh. Have you seen it? There's a student in my school who's four and cut her bangs herself. Lupe's hair looks like that. Oh my gosh. Me? I'm just the maid, remember? But I did find a bunch of tracks beyond the pond. You could try following them and maybe see the wolf that way. Maybe I will. Have you told anyone else what you just told me? No. Good. Don't. You see, I'd like to see this wolf for myself, and I don't want everyone else going after it. Mm, I'm sorry it to away. hear that, Lauren. I There's hope no that it gets better what soon. That happy handyman might do. So it'll just be our little secret, all right? I may or may not have cut my own hair when I was in school. Good luck with your birdie. I at least didn't do bangs, though. I just chopped off a section of it. Nancy, hey, got a proposition for you. Ever been ice fishing? No, but I've always wanted to try it. Well, you're about to. Here's the deal. 
I need some competition. To. So I want about you to. to go out there and try to catch a bigger fish than I caught yesterday. Which means you gotta catch a two foot northern pike. Now it's a bit of a hike out to the lake, but the shack is solar heated, so it's nice and warm inside. So what do you say, kiddo? You game? Anything to make you guests happy. Just cutting your pigs at the age of four is just a universal experience. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I think it's, at least for, like, girls, I know it's a pretty common thing to just cut your own hair. Um. Is this the first time you've been to the lodge? Yep, sure is. Okay. No, we are not are playing you Fox and Geese. Related to Rolf Kessler, the guy not who remake the game and cast you. The the last century? No idea. I'm I not sure if he would love that or hate that, Asta honestly. Asta siesta. Okay. We're gonna <laughs> let's save the game and. We're gonna go go ice fishing, theoretically. Ho! By order of the Snow Princess, you shall not pass. <laughs> Hello, Mr. The Snow Princess surrenders for now. Oh my gosh, the neighbor's kid convinced you they could give you a makeover and they chopped your hair up when you were four? <sighs> I'm starting oh to get gosh. really cold. That sounds traumatic. Oh my gosh. It looks like someone came in here and just wrecked everything, Wait. including the fishing gear. Oh no. So much for catching a two foot northern pike. <laughs> your daughter cut her hair last year after watching. The Lindsay Lohan parent trap. Took about a day to realize she'd done it. She didn't do a half bad job, but she cut it at an angle. Hmm. Oh no. That's behind by whoever trashed that this ain't place, good. maybe? 202-555-7237. That's a US phone number. Nancy, turn around. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> I'm starting to get really cold. I don't know if I have time to still try to do it today, but I'm gonna try to. Ah, much better. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody left me a note. Get the toasty pack. Accidentally clicked out of the game and everything got weird. Okay. Please behave now. Oh no. Well, I. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Inconceivable. Let me... Well, this is more annoying to fix than what I thought it would be. Okay. Here you get to see my lovely little wallpaper. Oh, I'm scooting the wrong thing. Okay, we're gonna hope that that... That that's good enough. Okay. What about now? That is close enough. I'll take it. <laughs> Freddy has great handwriting. She really does, to be honest. Oh no, and he's not here. Well, that's not happening. So let's try to make some phone calls and then maybe we'll take a nap before dinner. Hi, 
Ned, it's Nancy. Hey, Nance. I couldn't tell it was you because you're not calling from your cell phone. No coverage out here. I'm in the middle of the Canadian Rockies, remember? Oh, I haven't forgotten. Everything okay? Well, as a matter of fact, just as I got here, the bunkhouse blew up. Yikes. So there was another act of sabotage? I'm not sure yet. I did find a melted clock face and all the debris, which, if the explosion was caused by a bomb, may have been part of the timer. In fact, I should probably call the sheriff and see what he thinks. Nothing like starting things off with a bang. Not this. Dark. Couldn't resist. A lone wolf has been hanging out around the lodge lately. A wolf? That's kind of cool. No, what's cool is that it dug me out of an avalanche and saved my life. You're kidding me. Why would a wolf do that? You're not asking know. why she yes. was stuck in an avalanche so, and almost died? That acts like Lassie. What else? Bad He's news. way too casual Chantal about that. Is insisting that if I need help, I get it from this police consultant she hired. A guy he named does do puns Tino a lot. Balducci. Tino Balducci? Not that cop That's the one. How does Chantal know him? All I know is she thinks he's charming, and for this case, I have to get all my hints from him. Well, I'm sure he'll be very helpful. Not as helpful as, say, I would have been, of course, but very helpful. Um, okay. Gotta go. I'll call you again. You can call me anytime. Hello? You got that? Hello, got Lou. It. How Bye. are you doing? Ned is just too used to Nancy being an accident and getting hurt. Right, he's a little bit desensitized at this point. And pick me up a double double while you're at it, okay? Yo, what's up? Uh, is this Elsa Sibylhoff? Used to be. Now it's just Sybil. Sybil? Sybil. That's what I'm gonna call myself when I audition for Canadian Idol. You're a singer? Rock star. At least I'm about to be. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. I hear you had some tire problems while you were here. Oh, yeah, right. It was that wolf. I heard it howling all night, and the next morning I went outside, and it just ripped my tires apart, every single one of them. That place is jinxed. I had to quit. Working there was just plain dangerous. So, if you're trying to deny my unemployment claim, forget it. I had every right to leave that job. You quit because a wolf chewed up your tires? Well, that is a little freaky, don't you think? Besides, it wasn't just that. One guy fell down the stairs and broke his leg, his whole family got food poisoning, and now I hear they got bombs going off up there. It's just a bad place to work, you know? My unemployment claim is totally legit. Your tires getting all torn up like that didn't have something to do with L, did it? L? Uh -oh. L, as in, I'm going to sell your collection of troll dolls on Getting eBay? called out. I found his stupid letters. Exposed. Okay, so it was Larry, my insanely jealous ex-boyfriend. He was all crazed when I couldn't take time off to visit him and slash my tires, the psycho. I blamed it on the wolf so I'd have a legitimate reason to quit and get on the pogey for a while. I just needed some time off and some cash, just enough to jumpstart my career, you know? Because I got talent. I really do. Well, you're right. I shouldn't have lied like that. Look, I'll contact the unemployment office and tell them the truth, okay? Good idea. What happened to Larry? All I know is he's finally out of my life. Take it from me. Do not ever, ever, ever think for one second that having a jealous boyfriend is in any way, shape, or form a good thing. Because it's not. It's the worst. Got that, Nanook? Uh, Nancy. Fact, oh, look, yet another person that gets her name wrong. Flash or jealousy, spare my tires. Get it? Spare my tires. I'll probably uh, say it on Canadian uh, Idol. Hey, you want so to funny. Uh, no, in fact, I'd better get going. Good luck on the show, though. And Nancy really for the said, advice. no, Anytime. thank you. Not here for that. <laughs> I want to write that song. You should. It would probably be better than anything that Sybil would come up with. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Jenkins? Yeah, this is Carl. Not Mr. Well, my name is Nancy Drew. I heard that you had an accident at Icicle Creek Lodge and wondered if you could tell me a little more about it. Not much to tell. I... Ha! Take 
that, Captain Keen. I went there to do a little ice fishing, and I slipped going down some stairs and fractured my tibia in two places. Can't work, can't go out. All I can do is sit around and play this stupid video game. Oh, no, you don't! Do you know why you slipped Fun down the stairs? Fun fact. You can beat yeah, the game without calling right. any of these people. You only have to call Chantal, Tino, and I think the Avalanche Patrol. Those are the only people you have to call to beat the game. Are you Mrs. Farringdale? Put your socks on in the car, okay? We're late! This better not be a sales call because I really don't have time. No, no, my name is Nancy Drew and I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. You know, in Canada. After what happened to me and my family, I have no intention of going back there ever. No you know, Nancy, Canada home. does not narrow things down. Clear. Unless you're assuming okay, she thought it was a scam okay, call because it's from Canada. Which could be the case. I'm not really with the lodge. I just wondered if you could tell me what happened. The three of us had meatloaf, potato salad, and green beans for dinner one night. And by four the next morning, we were all sick as dogs and had to be taken to the hospital. We recovered quickly, thank goodness. But the minute we got out, we went straight to the airport. I will never set foot in that lodge again. The worst of it is, I made poor little Susie eat all of her potato salad that night. Eat it, I said. Oh no, it's poor little Susie. Just pull out the orange slices and no one will notice. Oh my gosh, the orange slices. Yeah, not missing out on the french fries. The that would be... Right it's now. tragic, honestly. I would just cry if I couldn't have potatoes. To be perfectly honest. Is this Brenda and Derek oh, no. Southwaite? This, yes, this couple. This is a solicitation. Honey, you're so suspicious. Only because you can be way too nice for your own good, darling. I'm not selling anything. I just want to ask you about your recent stay at Icicle Creek Lodge. You mean Gassicle Leak Lodge? Oh, very clever, sweetie. Gas was leaking from so many places while we were there, it's a wonder the place didn't blow sky high. I heard something about your almost being overcome by fumes in the sauna. Well, we had just gone ice skating, so we decided to warm up in the sauna. So we were sitting in there, and everything was fine, until both of us started feeling a little woozy. We started feeling a lot woozy. And the next thing we knew, that Russian skier came in. Actually, I think he was Slovakian. The point is, he told us he smelled gas and thought we should get out, so we did. Barely. By that point, the fumes were making us both ill, if you know what I mean. <laughs> By the time he helped this couple there, is interesting. As green as we were. Awful. I love them arguing about where he's from and both of them being wrong. Well, at least the owner had the decency to give us a full refund. Oops, the shuttle's here, sweetheart. We're off to Aspen. Kind of a second first honeymoon. Long story short, if you're thinking about going to Icicle Creek Lodge, don't. Well, I appreciate the advice. Have fun. Oh, we will. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Are these familiar voice actors? I'm not totally sure who voice acts those you have reached those people. Rotten Grow Free, a non-profit organization dedicated to making sure that the wild animals of North America remain wild. No one can take your Well, hello Brave Bushido. Do you have a shorter nickname by any chance? Uh, glad to see you back. Well, at least they're honest. 
Okay, so do we do we get to talk to all the all the victims? Oops, check. That's finished. Check. Been there, done that. Check out. Can't the... check that off yet. Oh, you've got to be joking me. No. What? Well, I. We can't ever check off everything in our checklist because apparently, Nancy put something in, in her there, checklist check. that you have That's to do finished. before in you there, start the game. That. And because I didn't reopen it when That's I restarted the game, check. we don't check. get to check that off just ever. Check. That's finished. Check. Oops. Haven't done that. That's finished. Still need to. Oops. Still need to do that. Check. Still can't check. That's finished. Can't check that off. Oh, yet. yeah. I have to go ask Ollie. So I could have done that. Wait. Contact me. Okay, so we did talk to all of them. Okay, okay, okay. So let's... Let's go talk to Ollie. You check out Skookum Ridge? Yep, no avalanche. There's your snowmobile key. You make a report to the avalanche patrol? Sure did. What else do you want? Someone went into the ice fishing shack and ruined all of Bill Kessler's equipment. Probably some animal-loving eco-fanatic who figured it was time to save the fish. So much for trying to catch a bigger fish than Mr. Kessler. Say no more. There's my tackle box. It's all yours. Kessler tried to rope me into competing with him. But I can't very well do that when you've got my hook and line now, can I? No, I don't suppose you can. What else do you want? I'll get out of your hair now. Keep me posted. Okay. Go ahead and save it again. Um Okay. So I think while I think while Twitch is on an ad break, I am going to do a quick pause for just a couple minutes and go start making some tea for myself. Maybe grab a little snack. Um, so if you guys want to stretch your legs for a minute or take a bathroom break, feel free. So I am going to minimize that. I'll pull up some music for just a minute. I will just, you know what, I'll just go back to this. And I will be right back in just a couple minutes.
Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. Let's get back into this. I, let's see. Um, oh, there it is, okay. For a second I was like, is my mic picking up? It is, it definitely is. So, um, music reminds you of the village. I could not say. I don't think I've seen that. Um, supper time for the beets. Enjoy your lurk while you're eating. Um, what kind of casserole is it? Is it is it your chicken casserole or is it a different a different kind of casserole? And yes, I am gonna eat an applesauce patch because I'm a little child. So, so look at this goat screaming. You ever just feel like a screaming goat? Cause I do sometimes. Okay, let's see. Can we go? Oop, can we go ice fishing? Or is it too late? Ah! Stop spinning, Nancy! So, when I was a child, my younger brother had a computer with a touchscreen overlaid on it, which I think I've referenced before. Um, but this was back in the day before they just had touchscreen monitors and so uh oh sorry sorry <laughs> my bad my bad you missed me pummeling the child okay yes we can go excellent we can try to anyway. It is really, really ha -ha. cold out here. Oh, it's so late. We. I am. I'm gonna save the game here. Because I don't really know what's gonna happen here if we're like out this late. <laughs> I came to see Freddy get pummeled. All I got with this lousy audio. Oh, come on. That was perfect. Inconceivable. There we go. Oh. A two foot northern pipe. See, I feel like no this fishing for me. the ice fishing is like literally you either get it almost immediately or you're stuck there for what feels like hours. <laughs> Time to get blasted. Okay, I've never done this where it's this late in the day. 
<laughs> I just got lucky. It usually takes me forever. That ice ball at me must have set off an explosion that shattered the ice. And my jacket's gone. No wonder I'm so cold. How did she lose her jacket? Like, she stepped outside. She should have already had it on. So, how did it get, like, removed from her body by the explosion? I need to make it to shore by jumping from ice boat to ice It is 5.30 and we're still out. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Oop. Oh dear. Well. Well. Aha! Come on. Please behave. Again. <laughs> Again, I just got so lucky. I don't know whose this is or why that wolf left it here. But at least now I won't freeze to death. Because I figured out that you... <laughs> Tori, I'm sorry! <laughs> I really... I did not think that was going to work. I did not think it was going to work. But I know that's like the basic idea that you can... You can move the opposite direction on like diagonals or up and down. And makes them come back. It is not necessarily consistent. Um, it's not consistent about like Much when better. it does that. It was really cold. And so... I didn't think that would necessarily I work, go back the way but I, I knew to try it. Maybe these tracks will lead but yeah, I did not think that would work. Hello again, Johanna. Is it time for you to eat? And you never answered, I don't think, about what you're eating. I want to know because I'm really curious. Avalanche Ridge. Ugh, not exactly reassuring. Right. <laughs> right. I, I am gonna do no second chances at some point with this. Up to my knees. If I, wanna I need to recover from last time though, because that was stressful. Something tells me I shouldn't be making this much noise. Oops, I didn't mean to go forward again. In a place called Avalanche Ridge. I didn't mean to go that far. Ski tracks, probably Yanni's. You made a burger too. Oh, them, I'm gonna have to get a burger watch. because everyone's eating burgers, and there's burgers in the game. That sounds wonderful. I can't stop shivering. I need to get in out of the cold, like, soon. Use the toasty pack. Is it not gonna... So really not gonna trigger the sunset scene for me. It is 627. I have no oh. Am I dead? It's going oh, it's the sunset. Soon. I got the sunset. <laughs> I'm going Yay! <laughs> I feel warmer already. Wow. 627. I think that's the latest I've been outside in this game. Okay. I'm excited I got that. There's something else that ooh, I feel pretty confident you can do, and I'm excited to try to do it. I didn't get that far to try it in my in my playthrough. Oh my gosh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys see what just happened? We just went backwards in time. Did anyone else see that? It is 534 now. It was full on 627. We went backwards. We time traveled. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Nancy, hi. What the heck happened out there? Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm not quite sure. That's so I weird. I walked out to Icicle Lake to see how you were doing in the fishing shack, only there wasn't any I don't know if shack. I know what you're talking about with that, Tori. The ice was all busted up like somebody dropped a bomb on it. All I know is, after I caught that two-foot northern pike, I walked outside and someone knocked me unconscious with an ice ball. The next thing I knew, Nancy there was, was a an dime explosion lady. and I was on an ice Elizabeth, ball in the middle of the lake with no coat and no fish. 
Somebody decked you with an ice ball and blew up the lake? Holy moly! Probably you. Couldn't stand the thought of losing Thank to you. a girl. Har har. The good news is you're okay. The bad news? No more ice fishing. Mr. Beat has brought me my tea. Well, I'll let you get back to beating Lou. Glad you dropped by. Yeah, the sunset scene is so What's pretty. What's up? So you go to school in California? Yep. University of California at Brea. Is this your winter break? Yeah, I just pretty said no I ice balls. This is why. Glad you're back, Elle. What'd you get for a snack? Oh, you guys play dinosaurs? You're getting the kiddo to you to bed now. Good luck. Hope it goes smoothly. Um, so, I mentioned this to Ducky when I was playing through this for, like, testing purposes. Why is he not going on vacation on his winter break? He's a college student at probably in-person school in California, and he is in the middle of January. He is here at this ski lodge in Canada, when if he'd literally gone two, maybe three weeks earlier, he still would have been on winter break. Why is he going out? Does he just not care about his studies? Like, what is he doing? How'd you hear about this place? What is this, like the Spanish Inquisition? Hey, give her a break. She's just trying to make pleasant conversation. Oh, right. Um... My car broke down on my way to Lake Louise last summer. Pulled in here to wait for the tow truck and figured it'd be a cool place to visit during the winter, so here I am. So, you like to snowshoe? I like doing stuff outside. Snowshoeing's about all I can afford. Is it a hard sport to learn? You don't learn how to snowshoe. If you need to get through snow that's too deep to walk through, you slap on some snowshoes and you just... At the shack, if you it. go outside just before 5 p.m., you can just stand outside for a really long time. You made it to 8.15 p.m. Interesting. Gonna have to play around with that. What do you think about all the weird things that have been happening around Don't study here? abroad. <laughs> kind of cool. Accidents make life colorful, you know? Ooh, you crackers and peanut butter sounds you were the one wonderful. I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Or eaten that bad potato salad or had those four flat tires. Hey, I had that broken window. Broken window? I went snowshoeing on, like, the third day I was here, and when I got back, the window in my room was broken. Glass was all mm. over the place. Watching both kiddos chase each other and yell, yell or roar with giant smiles on their faces. Priceless. Oh. That sounds absolutely adorable. Who broke it? Don't know. Don't know what broke well, it. obviously I we have to try and no steal the snowshoes. The no bullet, no nothing. It was the wolf. Tried to jump up into your room, but didn't quite make You have a thing about peanut That's butter? Bogus, oh no. My That's tragic. Floor, and besides, wolves peanut don't butter is do so good. Like that. Hey, that wolf does a lot of stuff wolves aren't supposed to do. That's why it needs to be hunted down. It's just doing its thing, man. Get off its case. Anyway, my window broke and nobody knows why. Pretty awesome, huh? What inspired you to become an art major? Sorry if you guys hear beeping sounds and stuff. My husband has been setting timers for making tea and stuff. I beg your pardon? I create works of art by manipulating naturally occurring geophysical also, substances. So anyone else remember Sometimes like having classmates hands, but most of the time heavy back in whatever involved. year this was that oh, had this hairstyle? Oh. <laughs> the swooped hair. But that's cool. Because like every guy I knew in my grade had that, had that haircut in like middle and early high school. Waldo Emerson said that. Do you ever see anyone else when you're out there snowshoeing? The I see that Yanni guy sometimes. I'll be plodding along and he'll go zooming by. Those saw... keys of his are like rockets, Nope, man. not there yet. He's all He's like, like zippy zoom. zoom. Do you ever hear explosions? Yeah, and they freak me out. It doesn't take a very big sound to trigger an avalanche. And when you're out there by yourself, nothing will ruin your day faster than a couple of tons of snow. Oh my gosh, yes, they did a little head nod to flip out. the hair out of their eyes. Tell oh my gosh. It. The nostalgia hit. 
Lose one good contribution to the game. A swoop, there it is. All the girls would swoon, right? Would it be alright if I borrowed your snowshoes? Mm, no. I wouldn't need them for long, just for an hour or so. Well, in that case, no. no. What's the matter with you? Afraid of cooties? The Bieber, yes. Snowshoes? I've only got one pair, and they're like precious, you know? Sorry, dude. The, the hair no, is just spot say, on. Nice talking to you. Rock and roll. All right, it is dinner time. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up the salad bowls. And you know what? We we don't care about waste and stuff here. Let's just let's just get that going. So these both need two. This one needs none. This one needs one. This one needs one. Okay. Okay, I think I've got these. Okay, and then this one needs two, so two more. Cat, how's your day been going? Glad to see you. I think everyone's getting salad. Um, okay. There's just so much focus involved in the salads. If my head is Troy Bolton, I yes, that is that is also Order it. Up. Okay, let's talk about stealing stuff. So either he didn't care that his was made wrong, or they duplicated both these orders, because this is made exactly the same way as the previous salad. Order up! Alright, Maggie, thanks for coming in. Oh yeah, we're just dousing everything in paprika, because why not? Okay. Famous police detective in the country. Order up. Hey. Think this is right. Oh no, it's not. It's not right. It's a, it's a fine. We'll just put one more cucumber on top. <laughs> It'll be fine. Order up. Perfect. Okay. So much focus involved in trying to remember all the all the amounts of things. Order up. Okay. Okay. This one's easy. So it's one of everything except peppers and cucumbers. No one redeeming anything. Why is all the rum gone? Oh my gosh! I love that you're, I love that you're quoting 
Jack Sparrow don't, since... Way, don't go adding paprika to Lou Talbot's food anymore. He hates paprika. Since I just was watching, I'm actually like doing a watch through of all those movies right now. So I just watched the fourth one today. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? Okay. Let me verify that. Oh, not again. <sighs> okay, hopefully I didn't actually mess up the... Nothing says I love you like a new murder order of things. Does it? Oh no, I messed it up! Ah! Okay. okay, it's fine. It's fine. How did I drag that all the way up there? So this is thanks to something I learned recently. The, uh, this game, along with, oops, along with, uh, excuse you, please move. Along with Phantom of Venice, they don't have a border on the side of the window. And so you can move the mouse out of it and accidentally click things. But then as soon as you click things, it minimizes it. So it's not really like a borderless window. It's just borderless enough to be problematic and annoying. At least when you have two monitors. Um, I think hopefully that's good. Let's see, because I've got to pull this thingy up. And then I'll pull this up. And then we're going to see... It's it's wonky, but you know what? It's fine. It's good enough. Ah, uh, okay. Stop messing with that. I I'm not trying to. Okay, so it drives me crazy that <laughs> that in this game you can't talk to like anybody after you just dinner time. My room Everyone just disappears. Until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddy south too is out of the question. How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and if broke his If we're going leg? to work, yeah, it can be so hard to track down Side. people in this game. You'd better learn to keep up with me. And he's lying at the bottom of them. You're positive they were clear and dry? Yep, chipped every bit of frozen snow off of them myself. You ask me, somebody asked those stairs. Yeah, so Elizabeth, I am noticing that you waited until I started no, playing sir. again. No, sir. Would you happen to know the combination to the lock on the display case that has the snowshoes in it? Only person who'd know that is Chantal. Just cross your fingers that she wrote it down. Gal's got a memory like a butterfly net. Of course, there's no need for you to go repeating that. <laughs> I don't know that I remember hearing I'll that get out before. Of your hair now. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Very ah, sweet and considerate. I'm glad for the chance to talk once again. There is something I must explain. There is? What I said before about wolves. It is because my grandmother was killed by wolves. Killed and devoured. How? This is Years fine. Ago, when my mother was a little girl, her mother, my grandmother, was on her way back from the village on her motor scooter, which was and still is the only means of transportation most Fredonians can afford. It was January, and the sun had just devoured. Set, and it was dark, <laughs> very cold. There were oh thousands of wolves in the countryside that winter. At night, they would roam in huge, hungry packs. All right, Elizabeth. My grandmother how many points do you have left? I didn't see how many you had at the beginning of this. From the side of the road for her to stop. He too had been on a scooter, but his had broken down, and wolves were gathering all around him, preparing to attack. My grandmother, of course, stopped, and he leapt on behind her, and they took off down the road with the wolves, dozens of them, chasing after them. But with two people riding it, her scooter was slow, much too slow, and the wolves soon caught up with An them. An absurd amount. Oh, and my word. How did you end up with that many points? Its teeth and started to pull. Tori, oh, my gosh. Her, the man pushed her off the bike. It Tori, you have 153,000 pop pennies. Upon by oh, the my gosh. Did not. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
If she died, how do you know that's what happened? Absolutely, Tormented Rich. By guilt, the young man eventually confessed. He went to prison for several years, and the wolves were hunted year-round until the countryside was rid of them. But the damage was done. And so, I'm happy to talk to you about any subject except wolves. No glow about stick them, for you. I have nothing to say. Ever see Lou Talbot when you're out there training? The college student? Just yesterday, I had to slow down to avoid colliding with him. It ruined my whole session. I really need to get somewhere in the backcountry and was thinking like you could more expensive give me a cross ski lesson or well, two. Well, out of the question. I don't have the time, the equipment, or frankly, the desire. I had I'm them sorry. more expensive. I have disturbed you long enough. But we'll talk again, I'm sure. The problem is, I had things more expensive and then people weren't able to redeem things enough to be fun. But then like Sleuthy just started giving everyone points and then everything just became ridiculous, so I, need, I do need to add more expensive things. Um, okay. Um, what do we need to do? We need to... Oh, we haven't called a sheriff. We should do that. Check. Can't check that off yet. Can't check, check. That's finished. Been there. Still need to do that. Oops. Can't check, can't check that. Okay, off so we yet. need to call Chantal about the snowshoes and we need to call the sheriff. Let's go ahead and call the sheriff first. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. One or two giant the expensive the other ones. night when you were investigating the bunkhouse explosion? Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I found a melted clock face close to where the bunkhouse used to be, and I wondered if it could have been what triggered the explosion. You know, the timer? Yeah, Tori, I don't I know about the watch street. Carter might be able to tell you. Because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with everything else. And besides, Ollie Randall said all the room clocks at the lodge looked like that. Oh, the Remember kazoo alert should absolutely be very expensive. Oh, right. You shouldn't go poking around on your own like that. There's I have some new redemptions and different things I need to make, so I'll try to put some expensive stuff in there. C4? C4? Plastic explosive? That's what blew up the bunkhouse. Lab result came in less than an hour ago. Did the lab results show anything else? Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particularly well made, so when it exploded, pretty much everything got melted into a blob or blown to smithereens or burned to a crisp. That C4 plastic explosive stuff, I'm assuming it's not something you can just buy at your basic hardware store? No, but it's not that difficult. I will be curious to too, Tori. Uh, Do you need some kind of permit to hunt wolves around here? No, ma'am. You mean Ollie Randall can go after that white wolf that's been hanging around outside the lodge and just shoot it? Yes, ma'am. It's always open season on wolves out here. You can kill as many of them oh, as no. you want. Somehow Tori, can you give right. Lauren more points? The animals wolves go after don't have a problem on YouTube. With, I can guarantee you that. All right, Elle, it was glad or a good thing to have you around. I was glad to have you. Uh, hope you have One a good the evening. The hotel, Yanni Volkstaya. He says someone threw a bomb at him while he was out skiing. Well, did he see who it was? He didn't see anything except the explosion, which apparently went off right next to him. Was he hurt? No. Why are you telling me this instead of him? Because he's a cross-country skiing champion, and he's convinced it was one of his competitors. Apparently, the governments of the people he's beaten are as ruthless as they are sore losers. All right, Lauren, you should be able to redeem now. Wait, did you send what? I don't know. Investigate? Well, if You're the police. Investigate. Concerned enough to call us, I don't see what good we can do. 
Life's too short, we're too understaffed, and it's just too darn cold to go traipsing around out there for nothing. Thanks for your help. I don't think she showed it off. I have not Hello? seen anything about Hi, it anyway. It's Nancy Drew. Did you ask Yanni about using his picture yet? Yes, but he said no. Darn. Well, thanks for trying. I think I'm onto something, but I desperately need snowshoes. Could you give me the combination to the lock on the display case so I could use the ones in there? I certainly can, but I'm not going to until you do something for me. Sure. I'm going to fax you a survey that Tino came up with. He says Johanna, most of the you do not need more points. Stop line. it with the puppy eyes. You need to spend points is what you need to do. You have an absurd amount of points. Fax it to Tino. The results will help him come up with a profile that will help you to determine which of our guests is responsible for the accident. I really don't think that's necessary. Well, Tino does, so I'm faxing it to you even as we speak. In fact, it's done. <laughs> Not adding 65 points. Great. I just hope the question points princess. Got it. Good. Now remember, when you're done filling it out, fax it directly to Tino, and he wants you to call him before you do so he can turn his machine on. That's it for now. I have to get going too. Bye. Okay. Time for this ridiculous quiz. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't, ooh, nope, not that. Um. Let's see. And then he's from, he's from Brea. Toronto. That's how you spell it? So apparently you can put yes or no for Guadalupe on Paprika, pretty sure. I'm assuming we still don't have anybody. Yeah, still nobody. Okay. Uh, well, we could go ask Yanni. Because he's I... always awake. Would you mind telling me what planet you most identify with? Pluto. Actually, Pluto's not <laughs> a planet anymore. That I like it, Tori. Exactly Very cheeky. Point. Pluto stirs up passion and controversy, yet it continues undaunted on its course, no, as do I. Pluto and I, we are as brothers. That's all for now. It has been a pleasure. Okay. That's nice. So, uh, Pluto, Pluto, let's, let's go to bed. Wait, 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 what time, what time is breakfast again? Seven, okay. Wake up at seven. What did you want? No. You my rival, didn't you? I messed yes, it so I, I messed it up so we didn't get to have extra dialogue with her. It's from the wacko left wing wildlife gang that paid you to grow up my rifle, so I missed that wolf. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm leaving this place right now. Good. You just got yourself an escort off the premises. Hello, hello. Oh, you're baking cookies? What kind of cookies are you baking? Um, we have progressed in the game more than I wanted us to. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, I don't have the thing for the towels. Oh, Saga, what side of the what side of bed was that? Is that the right side? Oh no. 
Oh, I don't remember. I think it was right. I think you can put either for her. I'm just going to put right. Let's go get the thingy and do this really quickly before breakfast. You would never sleep with a clock like that. I wouldn't either, honestly. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's just not how I wanted things to shake out. Because there's more dialogue with her, but I apparently was too speedy. Okay, so he's the right side. For sure. Wait, whose room am I in? This is... This is Bill's room. So... I think Lou is the left. Yeah, I think we... Oh. Maybe I, I probably didn't. Um, let me go back and do that. Yeah, yeah, it blends in so much. So, yeah, we only talked to her once. And you can beat the game without talking to her at all. But uh, I wanted to talk to her more. So since, since I didn't get to show it, you can talk to her again after the fishing shack is trashed and everything. And you find a, a bullet on the ground that dropped out of her pocket and she owns up to you messing up um, Ollie's rifle. And so um, that's a thing that can happen. So that's cool, but we were not able to trigger that. So that happens. We're making brown butter snickerdoodles. That sounds absolutely incredible. The French toast cooks so fast. No, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Oh, that was stressful. Come on, cook, darn you. You have to watch the French toast like a hawk. <laughs> you might have seen me playing this one as a kid because I played it a lot. I also played it on the Wii. Breakfast is so hard to try and multitask. Order up. that. 
This ain't right. Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't... What? I don't know what I did wrong on that one. Well, I can't cook 24 eggs at a time. That sounds stressful. Yeah, when I was practicing, I did manage to get the extra conversation with Lupe, but I think it's because I talked to her like earlier in the day and I got back before dinner early enough that I was able to talk to her again. Well, I guess that's the problem. I should have, I didn't talk to her before dinner, I think, and I should have. I'm thinking that's what went wrong. So we got, we got that. So can't st st oops check. Can't check. That's finished. I'm gonna. Oh, we have to. Oh, we don't even That's have to leave. Me. We can just go over here and come back. Okay. So let's call Guadalupe. Does she still get booted if you don't look at the running groove free number? This is Lupe. Leave a message and perhaps we'll talk later. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'll call um, you later. I don't... I don't know for certain if I've tried that. Um, she didn't want to talk? Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I don't know that I've ever tried that. But no one's here. I have to do this stupid survey. I'm gonna go fight the Ice Princess. Um, that I don't know, but I know she doesn't get kicked out if you don't talk to her in general. How dare you trespass here! You shall pay for your insolence. So I'm curious about that because. I know when I've seen people speedrun this game, they usually talk to her, like, the bare minimum, because it triggers her leaving. Um, well. Yeah, so, no, so that wouldn't, that wouldn't make any difference. I was trying to think, but that's, like, the exact opposite. Oh, I'm miss missing some little chat over here on Twitch. Let me finish fighting the princess and I will look at that. I'm trying to stock up on some toasty packs a little bit. Since nobody's in the lodge. Okay. There's The cookies are so good, you only make them in December. We'll send pics after and share the recipe. I would absolutely love that because they sound delicious. Um... Love the food in the game, to be honest, but the anxiety of timing it right. Yeah, it's it can be a little stressful, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, she really does not stand a chance. Oh, so I was saying before, and I interrupted myself or something, I don't even know. Um, so if, when I was a kid, I played this game where there was the touchscreen overlay. Already. And so I would do the snowball fights, and I would just tap the screen right on her face to throw the snowballs, and it was amazing. Are you hosers here? Where are you guys? Ah, uh, it's so early and they're just not here. Let's get more toasties. Get the get the toasties. Stop! How dare you trespass here? You shall pay for your insolence. You 
so early now. They come, they show up in like the morning. But I don't know why they're not here now. Ah, warm again. Nancy, just, just walk. Ah, okay, let's go, let's go take a power nap. Nope, don't go to the bathroom. Go take a nap. Um... Trying to get those men to show up so I can ask them a dumb question. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most frustrating parts of this game, honestly. Sometimes it's just like not an issue at all and you hit all your timings perfectly. And then sometimes it's just beyond irritating. I, know this is gonna sound like a I could just put question, in all the answers because I pretty much know all of them. With? But I guess it would be I'm trying to do things you know the right way and show all the dialogue and stuff. Thing? I should have known. I'll see you two later, okay? Glad you dropped by. What's up? I was just wondering, what planet do you most identify with? Planet X. I'm uh -huh. sorry, I'm in an our solar system. Planet X? But there is no planet X. There will be. So, you identify with Planet X. I don't Planet think X. that's how this works. Planet X. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. I'll catch you later. Ditto, dude. I think his college education is failing him. So anyway, let's put the... <laughs> let's put the... I, I'm guessing he's left. I'm just gonna guess that. Uh... Her... I... No, I, I wanna call her. But she won't answer the phone. Okay. Apart from his angry note, Nancy acting like it makes sense for Bill to say Mars doesn't make sense to me. Bill gives zero God of War vibes. Right? I was just thinking that. Um, okay, let's see if we can call Guadalupe now. Where's the number? Still can't get over the fact you cannot talk to two characters hello. in the game and still beat Miss it. Camillo? Right? Hi, it's Nancy Drew from Icicle Creek Lodge. Yes, hello. Is the wolf all right? Well, Ollie hasn't succeeded in shooting or trapping it yet, if that's okay. what you mean. But I'm not going to tell you any more until you tell me who you so, really are. All right. One thing I will say really quick. So, fair warning, As this is a spoiler. Well, let's let her, let's her, let her finish talking. Laura, I'm very excited to see how the cookies turn out. Hello, Casey, how's your day been going? So... Uh, so the, the spoilers. So, so I'm gonna say some of the spoilers for this game. So, if you don't want to hear spoilers, if you've not played it or whatever, mute for just a minute. <laughs> um, and then I will do a thumbs up when it's safe to unmute. <clears throat> so, uh, what I find very amusing with the end game for this is that you can actually not talk to the culprit until you get to the final culprit confrontation so if i'm thinking about where like you can maybe see just i think you have to see one glimpse of the character but you can almost do it without even seeing them and so nancy could literally get to the end game see the culprit and be like who are you because <laughs> like she's never talked to them before and i think that's absolutely hysterical um so anyway it's safe to come back now um that's After one of my favorite things with all of that in this snow, game. So I think it's escape. hysterical. It may have sensed you were in trouble, or its behavior may have Your day's been alright, it's been hectic. Way, oh boy. Is it is it a bad hectic or a kind of a good hectic? News. It is? 
Wolves and humans simply do not mix. While wolves may appear to be similar to dogs, behaviors that have been bred out of dogs after thousands of years of domestication are still instinctive to wolves. Training a wolf to behave like a dog may mask those instincts. Lupe, I didn't really want to talk this long. For that reason, no I just, how sociable the wolf I just appear, want to know what planet you identify with. I just want to get to the cabin. For any humans involved and for the wolf. Especially for the wolf. Who will have simply been doing what comes naturally. So the fact that this wolf oh, no, doesn't I feel like seem I to sneeze. be that afraid of people could lead people to think they don't have to be afraid of it. Precisely. It could make them forget that all wolves are, first and foremost, okay. wild. Uh, and while we're I believe you guys didn't hear that. I didn't want to blow ever, your eardrums out. Ever given to the temptation to feed the wolf. For one thing, a wolf's jaws are twice as powerful as a German shepherd's. And should She's kind of neutral. You've been working on a lot today. To well, hopefully you've been getting picture. some things done. Another thing, making the wolf dependent upon you for food would seal its doom. It sounds strange, Nancy, but the very best thing you can do for that wolf is nothing. This is going to sound like a really weird question, but... From oh, there's so many things to talk to you about. We're not talking about all that. Why in the world do you want to know that? Oh, please don't try to make me explain. Well, it's a harmless question, I suppose. Let's see. I get up on my left side. If I were to ask you which planet you most identify with, which one would you say? Earth. No, wait. Make that Venus. No, Earth. No, actually Venus. No, Earth. No offense, dear, but that's a very... Just pick question. one. Tell me about it. You had food poisoning over the weekend? Oh no, that's miserable. I'm so sorry. That's Were you preparing for, for this Thanks game? For Did you have tainted potatoes? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. It's not funny. Okay, thanks for that. Um, so we can fill the rest is in. So this is going to be a left. And this is going to be Earth. I don't remember if Lou is left or right. Let's let's try to call Tino and give it to him. See if he accepts it. Hey, Nancy! I was wondering when your number there was gonna show up on call. Uh, I don't want to talk. No. From that last no. Go away. Moon Canyon we went on. You're annoying. You're Stop it. Find that long -lost treasure. I'm not sure "helped" is the right word, Mr. Hello Bellucci. again, Mama B. How was dinner, in Ben? In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. Hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks like. So Chantel sent you my little survey, huh? It's not Chantel, it's Chantal. Well, the totally different names. Three. at the lodge but Ollie why is that because Ollie's an employee <laughs> um, so? yes Casey I love it in my experience which let's the poor fairy does faster than yours employees don't do stuff that's going to endanger their jobs and if these accidents for Chantel to shut down Ollie be out of a job ergo Ollie is not a I would bag. love to be eating no offense, a very large rice right crispy treat right about oh, now yeah? Tell me this, Miss Smarty Boots. Not Miss Smarty Boots. Huh? How much? Um, nothing. You don't well, have to rub it in. Me. So what's that tell you, huh? That you're ripping her off? <laughs> um, that you're a professional? <laughs> That's right. Nancy. I'm professional here. Oh my so, gosh. I totally, for I totally forgot that you could hear Nancy's thoughts. But Bill Kessler likes to ice fish. Guadalupe Comillo is the one who likes to bird watch. Yanni Volkstaya is a champion skier. And Lou Talbot likes to snowshoe. Oh, 
much. <laughs> How much do you know those you Nancy Hates foods? Anyway? You wanted to get the voiceover but couldn't remember what to do? I'm glad the Rice Krispie treats are so good. It's not Chantel, it's Chantal. Said it was the combination of something? Yes, to the display case. What yeah, she it? always makes them with peanut butter and they're so good. Anything else I can do for you? Okay, so Twitch is on ad break, so we should talk for a minute. Um So I guess well I can show the the streaming corner a little bit. I gotta take those off so I can actually like move out of the way. So you can kind of kind of see this cat bed. I'm hoping hoping to lure in a cat to sleep in the cat bed at some point. We shall see if that happens. Um I got my little lights back there. I also have the little ooh I can't reach. I have my little my little ducks back there. Um So, I just got things set up and still have a lot more to do. And there's going to be upper cabinets too, up on the wall. Um, so you may kind of see those, but that's where I've gotten things too. Um, yeah, rebuilding the desk should be interesting. So for any of you who missed that story the first time, we have to rebuild my desk because they only gave us half the instructions, so we had to reverse engineer it, and we reverse engineered not entirely correctly. And so we, um, yeah, we, we have to add a part, <laughs> so we have to take the top off and put in wooden dowels and then put it back together. So that should be very interesting. Um, today you learned that Christmas version of the duck song came out last month? Wait, what duck song? Man cannot live by bread alone, but you can get pretty close with Mama Beats Rice Krispie Treats. Mama Beats Rice Krispie Treats. That rhymes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's so funny. Um, so anyway, ad breaks over. We are back in action now. How is it that you know Chantal? Friend of a friend heard about all oh, wait, what was the passcode? That's finished. Check. Oops. So Haven't done call. that. Can't oops. 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 Still need can't. Oops. 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 How many clients do you have? Oops. 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 Haven't done that. I mean, you know, you go spreading yourself too thin. Can't check that off yet. Been there. Me multitasking while listening to Tino. I'd better go. I hate it when crimes out the wazoo. What's the okay seven six six nine? Got it. Let's go get the snowshoes. That did it. Oh wait, we didn't. Ugh. Wait a second. I didn't try to steal. Wait, can I still can I still steal his or his in this room? I might have just messed that up. I did. Oh, oh! I, oh, I can take. Or not. <laughs> Wait, I can take both. <laughs> uh, take the snowshoes. So glad we can still do this. Yo, into <laughs> the maze. Sup? I um. Uh, what are you doing with my snowshoes? Why are his pants so oh, low rise? I was just cleaning. What's his belly showing under Sweet. his sweater? I but hate it. I thought I'd go for a little trek. Can I have them? Hello oh, again, yeah, Johanna, sure. Montana, just Joanna room. Moana. Have fun. What you doing? Uh, definitely not stealing from people. That would be wrong, and wrongness is bad. Uh, so we're not doing that. We're gonna go. We're gonna go snowshoeing. That's what we're gonna do. A <laughs> poet and didn't know it. Oh yeah, that duck song. I know that duck song. 
Um, that guy is weird. Oh my. Stealing equals bad. It's fine. That's probably fine. Possible Suspicious. Take to lab for precise ID. Something went boom here. So someone cooked here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I can't stop oh, shivering. Na Nancy, we should. I need to get in out of the cold like we should soon. Um. Nancy, let's not. It looks like some kind of house. Hold Could on. Someone be living Nancy. there. Oh, oh wait. No, look at the it's six five. Hello. Two. Is anyone here? Oh my gosh. Sound like it. Guys, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that actually startled me. Okay. The Rest of My Life by Julius McQuaid. It would have been so cool if this journal was narrated. Ability to sort objects by scent. If she has an object in her mouth, she'll sniff, then drop the object near another object that has the same scent. That's very interesting, Tori. I don't really have an explanation for that. You said something went boom here. I, I did. I did indeed say that. Pine Vale Hospital. Hmm. Maybe I can use Isis and her incredible sense of smell to figure out who owns the notebook I found outside. All I have to do is get something from each of the people at the lodge, something that each of them has touched, then let Isis figure out which of their scents matches the scent on the notebook. Your stream keeps skipping, so it's like race cars going by quickly? What? Wait, is anyone else having issues with it? Skipping around and doing weird stuff? Because I'm not seeing issues. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we're supposed to talk to you. Stay. I'm guessing that is an issue with at the beach house. Isis, down, go. Okay. Delightful. Also, you can beat the game without picking this up and looking this at it. Is. Looks or like a maybe you right. maybe you have to pick it up, but you don't have to investigate it. Don't remember exactly. This indentation looks just like the one on that plaque in the lodge where that missing Rex bone used to be. Get all the toasty packs. Um. So. One thing I want to. I don't remember how you spell it. One thing I want to investigate, I'm pretty sure that you can actually spend the night in the shack. So I want to try to see if I can make that happen. Not not right now. I'm going to get back to the lodge and call it for the night. But that is something I want to investigate. I may test that offline just to see. Oh, we can get back in. Let's cook lunch. Oh, you logged back in and it's fixed. Hey, you know the answer, Tori. What is the answer? Ah, much better. I was really okay, I I was gonna one? say I have a vivid memory of doing so. Meet me in the sauna in the basement. I have some interesting information for you. A sauna sounds good to me. Okay, I I was pretty confident that I had done that before, 
But then I was doubting everything and I felt like Carter was winning a t-shirt at Whale World and was like, did I hallucinate this? Is this a thing? Ah, ah, quesadillas, quesadillas. Ah, I burnt it. No, no. These things cook so fast. Ah, pick it up, pick it up. Oh my gosh, the stress. The stress. Okay. Oh, you just Order want a quesadilla? Up. I guess you guys Order are just up. having a light snack. Okay. Uh, you guys all want a hamburger. Okay, so we need three hamburgers. It'd be the worst job for me, a short order cook. I don't think I could handle it in real life, to be perfectly honest. This is this is fine. Okay. Order up. Okay. Okay, that should be Order right. up. And cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I love the cooking this game. But yes, a lot of stress. Okay, one of everything but onion. Okay. <laughs> no Coke, Pepsi. Be inside the shack at 5 p.m. She'll stay for the night. Be standing just outside the shack at 4.59 and she'll stand outside, presumably until she freezes to death or you find shelter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save it there for the night. Um, thanks to everyone for joining me and checking out the new new streaming setup I'm very excited about. Um, I have some bots I need to post to catch up on and I should be streaming fr Friday. I gotta decide what exactly I am maybe doing but um it may, nice. it may just be on twitch i gotta decide but um thank you for the bits tori i appreciate it um yeah i still have i still have more stuff i have to set up um but i'm very excited because i have wanted to have an office set up in here with storage and everything for probably over two two years at this point um because all of my like craft supplies and our just like paperwork and files and different things, um, all of that is has just not had anywhere to go because we have a small house and not a lot of storage. So I'm very excited to actually have some storage now. I'm still recovering physically from building all of it because it's been a lot of work um, building all this and moving it and still those two wall cabinets to build. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot better. So excited for going forward. Um, you, I love you to bits live. I don't know how to do bits. Uh, so bits are on, are on Twitch. It's basically just, just a donation. Um, so bits are a Twitch currency. So you can, um, so you, you buy, bits and then you can use those bits on anybody's stream so it's like a digital currency that you that you buy um that you can pay out to anybody that's monetized that you watch um so there's that but you can tip through my tip website if you don't do twitch for anybody um or there's there's a tip page there's merch any of that kind of stuff if anyone wants to do stuff to support me and help help me recover from buying <laughs> 
<laughs> buying 550 pounds of furniture. Um, but uh, plus my chair, I didn't factor that in. So like I'm sitting at a desk with a chair for like a, an office chair for the first time since I started streaming. And like you don't even know how exciting that is. I've been at my kitchen table for all the rest of the time that I've been streaming. So it's very exciting to be actually at a desk. Um, Mr. Beat is temporarily displaced to our kitchen table where I was, so we got it swapped. Um, but we're going to get him set up with a desk too. It's just, haven't done it yet. We got to recover from this project first. Um, but thanks again to everyone who came and watched. Thanks for the bits again and uh, for the follow. And I should be streaming Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I will post more details of that soon. And then next Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, we should be finishing White Wolf Icicle Creek. So I am excited and looking forward to it. And I might, I might be even doing something a little more fun with my stream overlay. We shall see. Um, getting into the holiday season. And I, before I get off, this was overdue. Everyone who is in the chat right now, everyone who's watching, if you will comment uh, in the chat the word giveaway, show me that you're here, I am going to go through and randomly select a few of you that I am going to let be guinea pigs for some new merch stuff. Um, so everyone that's here that wants to be entered into that, comment giveaway, and I will pick two or three of you for being guinea pigs. So go ahead and put that in, put your name into the hat. And if you win, I will be DMing you on Instagram and looking forward to getting some input on that stuff. And hopefully I will have the new merch store up soon. I have to figure out some stuff logistically with taxes and such. Um, so hopefully that'll be up soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to let a few of you be guinea pigs. So I'm going to switch over to my outro. So you got like 20 seconds to send the word giveaway if you want to be entered into that. So on that note, thanks again for watching and being here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.